43, starting at verse 15. Glory to God. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together, they shall not arise. They shall extinct, they are extinct, and they are quenched as a toe. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will, I will, I will do a new thing. Now, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? Hmm. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the deserts. The beast of the fields shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. Hmm. This people have I formed for my Self, they shall show forth my praise. Y'all yes, yes, yes. know what the, the message title is? Mm -hmm. The year yes. of new beginnings. Yes. Yes. It's the year of new beginnings. We in year eight, y'all. It's the year of new beginnings. Sit down. Year of new beginnings. Everybody say, this is the year, is the year of new beginnings. Of new beginnings. See, 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 God is, is, is up to something. And when it's time for him to do something new, you, you got you to gotta be in position. You, you, you got to be ready. You got you to gotta be in tune with what God is doing. You, 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 hear me, hear me. God said, he, he said to me, he said to me, he said, this is the year of new beginning. And I've been saying this months prior. Y'all with me? Yes. Everybody stay with me. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I knew God was up to something. I, I just knew in my spirit that, that as we go into year eight, some great things was going to happen in eight. Uh -huh. You know what? Can Deacon Doctor pray for me? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that commercial? Crazy 88? Eight, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's great in 88. Year eight is going to be great. Amen. Now, we're going to have some opposition. We're going to have some persecution. But how many of y'all know it don't matter if you're going to keep rising? Yes. Everything that come in my life, I just keep stepping on and I keep rising higher. See, it, don't, don't let the opposition stop you. But in year eight, God's going to do some great things because it's the year of new beginnings. God's going to open up stuff for this ministry and for your life if you're ready. Yes. Now, if you stay in the same mindset, you're going to miss what God got for you. But if you open up your heart and say, God, I'm ready for new beginnings, God says, oh, I'll take you. Yes. He'll take you. Don't sit back. Don't sit back and just say, well, you know, and, and, and please, God knows, I hate to hear Christians say this, and I don't like to use the word hate, but I hate to hear Christians say, what will be, will be. Wait a minute. <laughs> Where in the world did that come from? Listen to the crazy folk in the world. The Bible tells me that death and life are in the power of the tongue. The Bible says that I can have what I say. If I speak to a mountain, it'll move. If I say I'm tired of being in lack, I don't have to be in lack no more. Because my daddy ain't broke. So start speaking the word of God over yourself and have some expectation of God to do some great things in your life. Yes. So in, 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 in 2017, y'all get ready. Young folk, get ready. God's no respect of person. He'll bless the kids like he... Do you know there was many great children in the Bible that did great things? Yes. Matter, of, matter of fact, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, those three Hebrew boys, they were children yes. that God used. 
And guess what? Young folk, y'all need to hear this because God told me this and I said this back in early a few months ago. I'm your pastor going to be spending some time with y'all this year. Uh -huh. Guess what? We're going to have some lock-ins. Right. Right. They're going like, what's a lock-in? <laughs> but when you get locked in, you'll know. We're going to get in. We're going to talk about some stuff because you know what? God has told me there's some shifting that needs to go on in the house and your pastor going to sit there. We're going to come in here. We're going to have on jeans and we might even have one of them pajama parties where we just stay in here all night in our pajamas. Put, put, see, y'all had sleeping bags. How many old folks you had to put a pallet on the floor? Yeah. Yeah. Some, see, the young folks don't know what a pallet is. Yeah. How many, how many y'all remember what a pallet is? We done, before there was sleeping bags, we had pallets. How many y'all ever had them old patchwork blankets that your grandma whoo, got one at home? About 20 some years old, Aunt Ellie made for me, Tracy. Got an old patchwork. That's a pallet. You put pallet, you put enough blankets down. So you get down in the floor and we lay down, but we praying all night. Yes. And we're talking about the issues of life so that y'all can continue to go forward and do even greater than what you're doing now. We're going to get down. And God's going to speak some stuff into us. I, I'm, I'm working on some things. I'm praying about when we're going to do it. But God is going to do some great things. Amen. But y'all, we got to believe. Yes. Yes. New beginnings, new beginnings. Let me give you this word so I can, I can keep moving. Now, Isaiah 43. It says, I am the Lord, verse 15. says, I am the Lord, the Holy One, of the creator of Israel, your king. Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot of horses and the army and the power, and they shall lie down together and they shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched as a toe. Now, what this is talking about, this was when Pharaoh was chasing the nation of Egypt. As they, I'm Israel, I'm sorry, as they were coming out of Egypt. And, and God was reminding them through the prophet Isaiah that, that see, see that he says, I'm the Holy One. See, if you go back over Exodus 14, he was saying how he was going to make Pharaoh honor him. And he was going to make Pharaoh do some things. And, and, and I heard this as I was meditating on this this morning. God said, there's some stuff in your past. There's some stuff in your past that God says, guess what? I need you to remember that I brought you out. There's some stuff in your past that I... See, there were some old demons that used to smack you around. He said, but you remember? I slapped them. And they're gone. They're extinct. There's some habits that you used to have. Some strongholds that you used to have. God said, remember? They're gone now. He said, remember that. That guess what? I brought you out. They're dead. Guess what? We used to sing a song when I was a little boy. He said, he's under my feet. There's some stuff that you had to go through. God said, and remember, it's dead. It don't exist no more. It's over. Thank God. And how many of y'all thank God some stuff in your past is over? Thank God that you don't have to go through some of that stuff that you went through no more. Them people that used to harass you and mess with you, guess what? It's over. Even if God had to relocate you, guess what? Thank God for the relocation. I don't even have to be around that anymore. It's over. And God was saying to Isaiah, he said, remember? The water. Remember I parted the sea for you. That's for somebody. God said, see, he opened up some stuff that you forgot about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard that. God said, you forgot about your deliverance. He said, you forgot that you've been delivered. Yes. See, you thinking that you got to go back and keep acting like, you know, what? Well, well, oh, yeah, 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 that's it. God said, he said, because right now the place you're in, it looks like nothing's happening. But he said, God said, I delivered you. Yeah. You're free. You're free. You're free. You're not bound anymore. Those chains are broken off your life. You've been delivered. You've been set. Remember that. When the devil tells you that you're defeated and you're not going to have new beginnings, God said, no, 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 that's a lie from the pit of hell. You're free. You are delivered. I've killed those things in your past. Remember that. Remember, you've been free. You've been set free. Stop carrying the bondage. Mm. Now, how are you going to carry something you've been delivered from? <laughs> Obviously, we pick it back up again. Yes. Why? God 
said, I'm free. God said, I'm delivered. God said, I broke the chains. I cut the ties. Yeah, I'm just hearing some things in my spirit. God said, there's been some relationships that I cut ties with in your life, but you keep trying to go back looking for them. I'm going to say it now. Yeah. See, see, I cut it, but you keep running back to it, and you're wondering why they ain't responding to you. Because God said it's over. Yeah. Ah. Old saying used to be, you don't miss your water till your well runs out. Well, God said, I dried up the well. He said, stop looking for water to come out something that's dry. It's over. I've delivered you. See, some of us got delivered from stuff that we didn't even know was messing us up. And we wonder why that person just went away. God said, because I got bigger plans for you than this mess. So I pulled you out. Remember that I set you free. Remember you delivered. Remember you don't have to go back no more. God said, new beginnings. So I, as I was studying and I was just looking at this, you know, I looked up the word new. And, and y'all, I got excited. I, I found this. God, God told me when I got in my office as I was praying. And I've been, I've been reading this and meditating on this all week. And then when I got my office, the Holy Spirit said, <clears throat> look at something in one of your Bibles. Look up, look up new. And I thought God was going to give me a whole bunch of scriptures. He just gave me one. But the thing that really blessed my heart, I looked up the definition of new. And y'all need to get this because this is where we're going. The year of new beginnings. See, something that's new is something that is recent and fresh. Ooh, God said the stale water is gone. He said, I'm giving you a refreshing I'm bringing you into a new place in 2017. He said, everything that you're going to experience is going to be new. Now you say, well, yeah, Pastor, because it's a new year. No, I ain't talking about that. Yeah, today's a new day because I've never seen the first day of 2017. But God said, I want you to see it in the spirit. He said, I'm going to do some new stuff in you, some fresh things. But you got to expect it. You got to believe for it. You got to expect God to do some new things in your life. Expect God to do something new, something recent, something fresh in your life. But if you expecting the same old, same old, how many of y'all have heard people say that? They say, how you doing? They say the same old, same old. Stop saying that. Say, I'm believing God for a new thing. I'm believing God for something exciting. I'm believing God for something compelling that's going to take me to a level that I've never been to before. But if you keep talking the same old yin-yang, or whatever you call it, uh -huh. Why y'all say Oh, Lord, church, forget me with that. Y'all say worse than that when you went home, and then yin-yang ain't even bad. But you keep talking the same old stuff. Oh, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. You keep saying that you broke. I ain't got no money. You keep saying that I, you know, I don't have nothing, you know, new and, you know, I, Christmas wasn't what I wanted. I couldn't get the kids what I made. Well, what did you give them? Yes. 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 Minister Victory said it all so well. You know what? She said, you know what? I thank God that my children are healthy. Yes. Because yes. guess what? She gave them life. Yes. Can you thank God for what you, you know, I wasn't able to bless my kids the way, but you know what? Last, all the kids up in here blessed anyway. Yeah. Even if your mother or your father couldn't give you everything you wanted, guess what? You got something. Yeah. If it, it wasn't no more than a hot meal, you say, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. But stop talking about what you don't have and talk about what you believe in God for. Yeah. Start talking about God. You know what? I thank you, Father, that you said you make me the head, not the tail. You make me a blessed and above and not beneath. You know, guess what? I'm going to give you all this. God gave me this scripture. I, I was waiting for him to give it to me at the right time. See, even before I get to, to yeah, yeah, I hear it, God. Turn with me in your Bible to Deuteronomy chapter 6. See, this is, this is what God is saying. And, and I'm, I'm going to work on this for a while. I'm going to take my time. And if I don't finish it all today, Dr. Tapscott will finish it next week. And then I'll come back and we'll tag team. We'll just tag to you. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Look at this. I, I want y'all to get this. And I, I, I preached on this not too long ago. But I, I really want you to, to, to see this. See, see, this is what I need your faith to be set on. <clears throat> I need you to really believe God 
and start speaking out of your mouth. See, yeah, well, let me say it this way. That's why I thank God for Bishop. Bishop's been teaching me some stuff. And, uh, and Bishop Roberts is not going to be coming this year to the body, but he's going to come and speak to the leaders. He's going to sit down and he's going to deal with my leaders. Because we need to straighten up leaders. We need to get tight up in here. We need to flow up in here as leaders. The leadership need to get on one accord and stop all of this backbiting and all this foolishness. Amen. Oh, yeah, we got it like every other church. Amen. But we need to tighten up with all this because we can't do nothing if we're not flowing. Amen. So my spiritual father going to come down and pimp slap everybody that ain't acting right. In the spirit in Jesus. Yeah, I said it. Yes. So, so, did I see Pimp Slap? <laughs> you, know, you know what? If the devil ain't going to play with us, why should I play? So we get in church and we think that we got to talk off. You know, come on. Come on, y'all. When, when y'all deal with the devil, when he mess with your family, is he being all nice and courteous? Come on, y'all. It's a new season. got time to play. If you're looking for church in this, we're going to church. I ain't trying to be church. I'm trying to walk out. Because Jesus, when he's had to say what he had to say, he said it. Yeah. Jesus, man. Yes. What was I going to say, Tracy? <laughs> Deuteronomy 6. That's what I said. Yeah. Some people follow me in the spirit. No, because sometimes, you know, we need to, we need to, yo, we need to deal with things. Amen. And you can't call yourself a leader and be trifling. Yeah. Come on, sir. Consistency. Come on, yes. come on, come on. Because you're consistent on your job. Yes. Yes. I wish Mother Claiborne was here because she said it's tight with his life. Right? Amen. 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 What was I going to say, Tracy? <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 6. I need us to believe God. Yes. I need us to believe God. I need us to believe God. And, and this is what God is saying. Deuteronomy chapter 6. I was going to say something else, but that's okay. But because see, because y'all, how, how many of y'all know the word? The Bible says the word is for rebuke. Yes. Yes. It's re for reproof. Yes. It's co for correction and instruction and in righteousness. And a lot of times we don't want to be corrected because we think we know, but your results show me zero. Yes. What you do. But if you knew so much, how come you don't have that much to show for? Well, well, well. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 6. This is what God said <clears throat> he needs us to do. Or that he needs to believe for. That's what I was going to say. God wants us to set our faith. Amen. And to believe him. And to trust him. And, and because we're going into new beginnings, God said, I'm about to do some stuff in your life if you're in position. Mm -hmm. If you're in position, you're going to receive something. But look at what it said in verse 10. It says, and it shall be when the Lord God shall have brought thee into the land which he swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them, give thee, Great and goodly cities, what is that? Which thou buildest not. Do you know God's trying to get you something that you didn't even build yourself? <laughs> Nothing wrong with building a house, but God said, I want to give you a house that everything's already in it. When you get there, your baby leaving, you know that's mine. <laughs> God's trying to get some stuff in your life so that you can see how good he is and you didn't even ask. It wasn't even on your radar. God said, I love her just that much because I'm trying to bless her with something she didn't even ask for. Cities you didn't even build. You didn't have to go to the loan officer and ask all of these questions. You just say, you know what? I believe God's lead me in this way and you show up and there it is. Can I tell the truth, first lady? That's what we did when we walked in our new house. Didn't build it. It was already built. And my brother had given me this scripture of probably about two weeks before that. I walked in and I said, mm, I felt my baby leave. And I said, baby, this is the house we're looking for. Yeah. Didn't even, didn't, you know what? But guess what? Because we walked faithful unto God. Yeah. 
wasn't messing over the sheep, wasn't messing over the money, just being faithful. And God said, guess what? I'm going to give you something you didn't even ask for. Because yeah. I love you. Things you didn't have to build. Things you didn't. You know what? I didn't have to send up no timber for it. When I got there, God said, I'm waiting on you. Yeah. It's already there. Yeah. God said, I'm trying to get some things to you. But you got to be- see the thing about it was we kept believing God. Yeah. I wasn't caught up in the houses and all. that. No, 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 no. God, I'm believing you. And God said, guess what? I can do exceeding yeah. and abundantly above what you can even ask or even come in your mind. Yeah. If you believe me. If you'll stay in faith, if you'll have some anticipation. See, guess what? God can take you out of where you are and put you into something better if you'll believe him. Yeah. He can increase you. He will increase you, but you got to believe him to do it. And the thing about it is you got to live right. How many times have y'all heard me say, God, don't bless mess? You got to live right, man. You can't be halfway. You got to serve and just keep your heart clean. Keep your heart pure. When you mess up, repent. Get it right with God so the flow will keep coming on down. Well, he know we're going to mess up. He know we're going to say things we shouldn't say and do. But guess what? When you do it, repent. Get, be quick to repent and get right back in right standing with God. And believe. Look at this. Let me, let me finish this real quick. I got another one I'm going to give you too. He said, and brought you out. And he said, houses. To give thee great and goodly cities that thou shalt thou buildest not. Verse 11 says, and houses, look at this. What did it say? What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Is it on the board? And what? Read, y'all read that. Ready, read. And houses full of all good things. Stop. House already full. Mm. How many of y'all like to walk up on a blessing like that? Yeah. I'm going to give my testimony. God said now is the time. Y'all know, and, and I'm using, and I'm trying to show you, listen to me. Listen. Believe God. Hear what I'm saying. This is not bragging and boasting because God did it. And I've been telling people on my job and everywhere I go that God did it. See, I'm not trying to take no credit for nothing. I'm telling them that God did it. And that's what you do. When God blesses you, you say, he did it. Y'all, we just moved into our new house just a little over a month ago. Told y'all that. Okay, God said, tell them. Almost 6,000 square feet. God did it. God did it. No, that ain't even, it ain't even about that. But look at this. The furniture that we had was probably 20 some years old. We gave it away. Gave it away. Bless people. And my, my wife went to a furniture store. And we got new furniture for the house and paid, got 63% off on the furniture that we bought. 63% off. God did it. If you're faithful, God will give you. He, didn't I teach this a few months ago? He's the God of the hookup. He'll hook you up if you're faithful and obedient to what he said. 63% off on a whole house full of furniture. Oh, and you want to hear something? Pastor Burton was a benefit. I, and, and you know what? I ain't glorifying stuff. But I'm showing you what my faith and our faith did. We believe God. I went Friday, got off from work. I got to share this testimony. Because I need y'all. See, this is where I need y'all to stay. If we go, because see, it's going to be some things that we're going to have to do in here. And I need everybody on one accord in their faith. I need you to believe in God because it's going to take some stuff to get some things done out here. Look at this. And this don't mean nothing to some of y'all, but that's all right. Just hang with me. And if you got to go, I understand. No problem. Just don't check out. Anyway, I wanted to put a new TV in our family room. And I went looking for a TV. You say, Pastor, what does this have to do with spiritual? I believe God. Mm-hmm. See, how many of y'all know the Bible says, I told this to my daughter, yep. trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Yeah. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He'll right. direct your path. Yeah. Even if you ask God about the TV, God will tell you where to go find a TV. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen to this. Look at this. I just want y'all to hear this. is my testimony. I got off on Friday. My wife said, she said, baby, I think Walmart got some TVs on sale for such and such price. Went in there and walking around looking, I couldn't. Went to two Walmart. My spirit wasn't settled. I just, I said, Lord, I can't. I, this ain't just, I don't know. I just, 
in there and then bumped into Pastor Logan and we got to talking. And I was going to buy a TV, y'all, but my spirit won't right now. Holy Spirit mm. said, you're settling, aren't you? Mm. He said, it ain't the TV that you want. Mm. And I heard in my spirit, see, again, because I've been praying, I heard in my spirit, God said, wait. Mm. He said, wait. Now, you might not think that this is important, but the Bible says that God knows the number of hairs you got on your head. Yeah. He, he's concerned about every little thing. So I heard the Holy Spirit say, wait. So I said, okay. I'll wait, God. I'll wait. So I got up Saturday morning. Y'all know every Saturday I pray for the church. Mm -hmm. I prayed and I'm decreeing and declaring over your lives and that God is going to bless you. And I'm in prayer and I prayed in the Holy Ghost. And after I finished, I got quiet before the Lord. And I said, the Lord, I heard the Lord say, go to H.H. Gray. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. All right. He said, go to H.H. Gray. See, see, let me tell y'all something. Praying in the Holy Ghost is how we found this building. Yeah. Praying in the Holy Ghost is how we got the paint and the color on because God told me to do it. See, God did it. If you, if you make some time for him, he'll lead you and guide you in all truth. Yes. So I hear my spirit. He said, go to H.H. Craig. Mm -hmm. I wanted a 65-inch TV. Yeah. <laughs> Rolled up in H.H. Craig. And the Lord had just blessed us with some finances and just come in. Had just enough to pay cash for the TV right there at H.H. Gray. 65 inch. Because God said, go to the store. This store got your blessing. But if you listen to God, God will lead you and guide you. Now, now, you might say, well, pastor, that's a, that's a TV. But see, you know what? Guess what I'm doing? I'm using my faith. I'm learning how to hear God. So, so guess what? If the devil try to throw cancer on my body, I've already believed God for a TV. Guess what? He going to move the cancer the same way. If any kind of sickness come up in my, oh, guess what? My kids don't want to act right. My faith is already active because I'm believing God. And God is manifesting and he's doing what he said. You see what I'm saying? See, and, and I heard Fred Price say this years ago. See, if you can't believe God for a headache, a headache away, how are you going to believe him when something really comes? If you're not using your faith and you're not walking in something new and trusting God, how in the world you think you're just going to turn it on and turn it off if you ain't been working your faith? You see what I'm saying? And, see, you, and, and many people might say, well, Pastor, that's not spiritual. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm using my faith. I'm learning how to hear the voice of God and I'm going where he say go and guess what he's showing me things because my faith is active yeah. mm. now see that might not mean nothing to you but I'm excited because mm. I got just what I wanted and I walked away with some money in my pocket too. Mm. You see, do you see what I'm saying so don't get all caught up in the stuff I, you know I don't care nothing about that you know what the house is just a house I can't use but one bathroom at a time. So don't, 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 but guess what? God did it. And I'm telling people it's for his glory. And some of y'all going to come over there and you're going to get a chance to see and feel the presence of God. Yeah, I'm going to say that too. And guess what? In a few weeks, my bishop is coming to pray over my house. His favor and his blessing is going to be on our house. Because we believe in God. This is what I need you to do in 2017. Don't sit around and just come to church and be kidding. No, no, no. Put your faith out there. Get in the presence of God and start believing. This is a year of new beginnings. If you've never prayed in the Holy Ghost before, spend an hour in the prayer in the Holy Ghost and watch God begin to speak to you. Watch God begin to tell you some things that you know not, that your brain can't figure out. Now, how in the world did my brain know to go to H.H. H. Gregg and they had the TV that I want. No, it didn't come from my brain. It came out of my belly that flows rivers of living water. Spirit. See, God concerned about everything you're concerned about. But you got to put your faith out there and believe him. Believe him. So what did I tell you? I said new meant something recent and fresh. Beginning means starting point. God said, I'm putting you in a new Starting point. Amen. Today is the day to begin to put your faith at a new place in God and start trusting him and believing him for things that you never thought you could. Yeah. All right. So again, and, and let me say this, because I hear this in the spirit. I hear some of y'all that, 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 that's got to have this. Don't get all hung up in stuff. Mm. That's right. Life is not full. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I thank God for our home. 
But guess what? I'll sell it tomorrow if God tell me to do it. It don't mean that much to me. Because I love God more than I love the stuff. So don't, don't get caught up in that. Don't, don't, don't sit back and think, you know, oh, well, he bragging about it. No, I ain't bragging. But, don't, but you know what? What did I tell y'all? You can't deny results. That's right. You can't deny results. And our faith took us to that house. Our faith led us there because we believe God. What do you believe in God for in 2017? What do you believe in God for? What are you tired of dealing with in your life that your faith could turn around? If you believe God. Something new, something fresh, something recent. God is trying to take you to another level. He's always going. The Bible says his thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. But can we at least begin to get on the cloud and, and go up? Or are we going to stay down here? God is saying, I need my people, this church, in 2017 to believe me with crazy faith. Yeah. I need you to begin to step out and trust God for new things. Some of y'all, yeah, I'm going to say it. Some of y'all been in the same jobs for years and you're miserable. Yeah. Why don't you believe God to get out of it? Yeah. Some of y'all ain't working. Yeah. Why don't you believe God for a job? Come on, sir. I got you. I believe it was over in the book of Isaiah. It said, it says, is there anything too hard for God? Can God do, he, he can do anything, but are you believing him for? Are you putting your faith out there and believing God? Young people, you want to go to college. What college you want to go to? Believe God for. Believe God can do it. Believe God can open the door. He can give you favor. They're filling out an application, won't even make no difference. They'll see yours and somebody say, hmm, Grand Dave, what, what, what is this child? God will put your application in the right hand. Yeah. And next thing you know, you got faith. Mm. Come on, y'all. You see what I'm saying? This is the year of new beginnings. Yeah. God is saying we need to go higher and we need to believe him. Yeah. We need to stop sitting on the sidelines just waiting for stuff to happen. But we say, God, you know what? I'm going to, yeah. Yep, there it is. There it is. Go with me. Go with me tomorrow. I hear I'm just preaching from my spirit right now. I'm hearing it. Mark chapter 11. And I'll finish. I'll, I'll get back and I'll finish this other part later. Y'all stay with me. And don't, and don't get in here. You know what? And, 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 and please don't look at me with a religious spirit. Because religion will keep you broke, busted, and disgusted. Religion will keep you jacked up thinking, well, he's not sick. You know what? All it, well, show me what you got then that God has done. Because I believe my God is a God of results. If my faith is out there active, God will produce. It don't take 20 years for me to get something if I'm trusting God and standing on his word. God will move. I get tired of hearing preachers saying, it's coming, it's coming. It's... Man, shut, shut up and show me something. Show me what your God can do, because my God is able to do, I'm going to say it again, to do exceeding and abundantly above what I could ever ask. Show me what God can do. See, that's why the world a lot of times won't follow us, because we ain't got no evidence. Or we got good talk. Or we know how to uh, sound a spiritual, but show them something. Show them something. Matthew 6 said, these are the things that the Gentiles seek after, but a lot of us don't have nothing to show the Gentiles. Because we ain't seeking after God. We're trying to get it our way, trying to be slick and be conniving. Why don't you just believe God, and then when it manifests, you can tell them, look, God did it. God did it. Young man walked in my house. Hold this, hold this scripture. We're going to come right back here. Young man walked in my house when he was moving our furniture in. He walked downstairs to my basement. He said, guess what? He said, man, that's a whole nother house down here. Mm -hmm. I got a big basement. Mm -hmm. You know what I told him? A little Hispanic boy. I said, son, this is what happens when you love God and you serve him. Mm -hmm. I said, God did this. Mm -hmm. He looked at me. He said, wow. Mm -hmm. No, no, I want to provoke him to serve God. I ain't going to tell him, no. well, look back, you know, well, because of my IG career. No, no, no. That, that's a black lie. I'm excuse me, whole face lie. Excuse me. 
it wasn't because of my education and because of, oh, no, no, no. It was because of my faith in God. It's because I said, God, you know what? God, you show us the house you want us to live in. God, you show us where you want us to go. God, we're going to believe you, and then we're going to tell everybody that you did it. We're going to give you all the glory. We're going to give you all the glory. But we had to put our faith out there. We had to trust God. We had to believe God, and God did it. And you can't deny results. I got the address. I pay. I just sent the first mortgage payment off. I'm living there in the big house. Yes, I am, and God did it. I ain't bragging and boasting. I'm trying to show you that if you'll trust God, he'll bless you too. And if you got any good sense and you're a part of this ministry, you understand that the oil falls from the head down to the bottom. I would say I got next because God will bless you too. And whatever it is, whatever it is. Instead of judging the man of God, won't you agree with the man of God so God, so some of what God got on my life will flow down to you. And then yours will be easy. Because mine was. Because I trusted him. Just walk with him. Just been obedient. And I'm not walking around telling people that. No, no, no. Okay, wait a minute. Here we, I, I'm going to say this. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm just, this is coming out of my spirit. Mm. See, 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 you're not talking to somebody who's just talking a good game. No, I had multiple sclerosis and God healed me. Yeah. 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 The same thing that killed Richard Pryor. You heard me say that? Mm. I believe God. Mm. Oh, I know what God can do. Yeah. Evidence. Oh. Remember Fred Price used to say that? Does your life show enough evidence? Yes. Can you prove, can you testify of your life that God is active in your life? Yes. Because you believe in him and in the manifestation. You can't deny manifestation. Right. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. Right. Glory to God. Mark chapter 11. Verse 22 says, And Jesus said unto him, unto them, Have what? Faith, Faith in God. But well, verily I say unto you, so whosoever, whosoever shall what? Say, say. I can't hear y'all. Shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou what? Yes. And shall not what? No. Doubt in his heart, but shall do what? Believe. That those things which he saith shall come to pass, he'll do what? God said, I'm trying to get my people. To speak to some mountains. Mm -hmm. But don't just talk. Right. Believe that the mountain gonna move. Because mm -hmm. see, you can speak a good word all you want, but if you ain't gonna believe the manifestation or that it's gonna happen, guess what? You just, you know, that's talk is cheap. Mm -hmm. God said, I need you to believe. I need you to believe. I need you to believe. And see, guess what? You know, this this and this says whatever you say. You'll have whatever you say. And this is something that God showed me years ago that you got to get in your spirit. See, you can, if, if, when you're walking with God and you're walking in a new beginning and God is taking you a place that you've never been before, see, when it's something that God doesn't want for you, you'll get a check in your spirit. Mm -hmm. See, because everything you say, God ain't going to authorize. Remember I preached this a few weeks ago? God has authorized your blessing. It's some stuff he ain't authorized. So you can't just say whatever you think. See, you got to say, you got to first in all your ways acknowledge him. And if he give you the okay, then you go with it. Because there's some stuff God said, I don't want you to go that way. I got another plan for you. But you got to walk with him and hear in your spirit. He'll tell you. Oh, it's certain things. See, just like I said, go back to the TV. The first TV that I looked at, God said, uh, it ain't here. <laughs> Wait. Oh, see what I'm saying? Because, see, I could have very easily went up into Walmart and hooked, got the TV. God said, that, that, that ain't the blessing that I got for you. But I went where he said, and again, like I said, I walked away with money in my pocket. Because I was obedient to God. Everything you speak to, you got to make sure that you know that God has authorized you to move it. Remember what I said, the man that said he could walk on water? The African preacher? Y'all hear about that? Remember me saying that? The African preacher said, well, if Peter walked on water, I can walk on water too. And he drowned. Mm -hmm. 
God and authorized. See, there's something called faith, foolishness, and presumption. See, you got to watch where you are. You got to know in your spirit, you can't just speak to everything. Because if God didn't, his anointing and his power ain't behind you, guess what? Your power can't move him out. But he's here. You got to believe God. It's the year of new beginnings, y'all. And God said, you got to bring your faith to another level, but you got to spend time with God and you got to know what God wants to do. Yeah. You got to follow the plan that he has for your life because it's already mapped out. It's already laid out. But you got to believe God and step into some new things. Right. Yeah. Y'all, I ain't never lived like this before. Uh-huh. But guess what? I'm very quickly getting used to it. Because yeah. <laughs> God said I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> I told my wife, I said, you know, you know I'm, I'm going to close and I'm going to have to hit this week after next, after possible, I mean, Dr. Taft's got coming. <clears throat> I told my wife, I said, baby, we got to, you know, new house, we got to tighten up on the finances. And like a good wife, she followed me. Mm. She said, okay. Mm. But after I started seeing God cancel some stuff uh-huh. mm. and shift some stuff around. Uh-huh. Mm. I said, okay, we need good again. <laughs> I said, yeah, you know, I said, because you, know you know how it is, you know, when you're moving into something new. Yeah. I got yeah. my first electric bill, got, got to yeah. see what all this, you know, because, yeah. you know, just because I'm walking by faith, you don't walk in foolishness, <laughs> wisdom. That's right. That's right. That's right. You don't live like you've been living when you know you ain't in the same place. Yeah. So wisdom said, you know, baby, hold the reins, hold the reins. <laughs> don't go shopping today. Yeah. <laughs> I got to make sure. But when I started seeing God move some stuff, uh-huh. some people told us we had to pay certain money, and guess what? Canceled it. Didn't even show up. Such and such happened over here. Next thing I know, matter of fact, the man that, that bought our old house, he called me the other day. He said, Mr. White, I believe you got a check in the mail. Yes. Yes. I said, well, after work, sir, <laughs> I will very... No, no, no. In the words of Mike, Mike uh, uh, Thornton, I will most expeditiously, with the utmost rapidity, be there to pick up a check. I'm trying to tell you. But guess what? When you've been faithful, but see, guess what we're doing, though? We're sowing. Yeah. And we're giving. And guess what? Honey, just for you. And the money just keep coming. Because we're giving. We're sowing. We're being a blessing. And watch God start... But my faith is there, y'all. And the Bible says faith without works. You follow me? Come on, y'all. And and, 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 and please, again, for the religious folk, don't get all caught up in the money. Come on, sir. But guess what? You know what? Because I'm in this flow with God, I got peace like I've never had before. Because I know I'm walking with God. I'm hearing God on a whole nother level. God's speaking things to me. That's why I told y'all, I need y'all to come up because y'all, we can't stay here much longer. There's some land and some property out there that God has for us, and we got to set our faith for it. And you know what? We got to see the finances continue to rise in here so that we can put something down and believe God. Y'all don't get stuck. Don't let what you these empty chairs fool you know because they are more with us than against us. God is on our side, but our faith has to come up. And we got to stand on his word. Oh, no, no, no. I'm excited. I just think, doctor, I got peace, man. I got, I got peace because I'm walking with God. I'm flowing with God like I've never flowed before. I'm telling you as your pastor, come on, raise your faith. Raise your faith. Believe God. This is a year of new beginnings. God's trying to show you something new, something recent, something fresh. But it's going to take your faith to get you there. It's going to take your faith and stop. You know what? When you don't know what to do, shut your mouth and get quiet. And say, God, you show me. God, you speak to my heart. God, you got some great things in store for me. Show me what I should do. And God will lead you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to say that. I love saying it. The Bible calls the, the Holy Spirit. He's the paraclete. The one that means to come alongside. He's parallel. He's walking with you. He's saying, don't do that, do that. Don't do that, do that. He's telling you all the time, but you got to listen and you got to know his voice. Get in there with him. Get your faith in the game and believe God to show you some things. And I hear this. I hear this. And I'm, I'm going to my seat. Some of y'all are tired of being in the place you're in. But because you have not stepped out in your faith, 
you think it's okay. You, you've accepted this. And God said, no, that ain't what I got for you. You tired of working at the same job. You tired of being in the same house. You tired of some things in your relationship. Well, God said, you your faith, man. Believe me to come out. I broke some things in the spirit over this ministry today and yesterday. So guess what? The chains are broke. Now, it looked kind of funny. If you had on handcuffs and they loose the handcuffs and then you put them back on. <laughs> now, and not even being locked, you just got them on like a bracelet because you're comfortable. No, no, no. I said, this is the year of new beginnings. Come on, believe me. Man, throw them handcuffs down. I said, look, I'm going to places I've never been. Start, yep, that's it. Start speaking things out of your mouth. Lord, I thank you right now. The things are looking up for me. This is going to be a good year. And see, you can't say this just one day. You got to say this all the time. You got to make this a part of your confession. This is going to be a great year for me. God, because I'm going to trust you like never before. I'm going to walk by faith. I'm really going to stand on your word. This is not going to be one of them jive talking kind of years. I'm going to say this with faith and confidence in your word, God. No, no, no. I ain't going to just talk it. I'm going to believe it. I'm going to stand on your word. Some of y'all, y'all destined for great things, but if you notice that it ain't nothing changed until you believe. You don't believe it. God said, I can't. What can I do? Because you have no expectation. If you think the old clunker you got is cool, God said, that ain't what I got for you. God said, that ain't the card that I want for you. He said, I really want to bless you so that when the world sees you, they say, let me, let me show, because I got I see that, I feel that religious thing. Mm -hmm. Go back to Matthew chapter 6. And I, I just, I got it, I got, I'm done, I'm out of time. But I want to share this with you. Because see, this is the thing, I had, a, I had a man of God teach me this several years ago. And I got it. I got it. Matthew chapter 6. And it says, uh, 26, 26. It says, I thought I was done, but the Holy Spirit says, somebody need to hear, because I, 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 I see in the Spirit. I, as the Bible says, I perceive some of the things that you were thinking in your heart. Come on, sir. But I want to show you, this is how God thinks. Because there's nothing bigger than your God. Right. See, God don't get intimidated when things happen, because nothing can intimidate him. Well, so this is how he look at it. Let, let's, let Matthew chapter 6, verse 26, it says, Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your what? Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much more than they? Mm. Aren't you more important to God than the birds? Yes. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit to your stature? And why take you thought? For your raiment, consider the lilies, lilies, lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not as raid as like one of these. Wherefore, if God so did what? Clothe the grass of the fields, which today is, and tomorrow's cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of what? Little faith. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Look at this. Go back. There it is. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, what shall we drink, or where shall we be clothed? Mm -hmm. For after these things do the Gentiles seek. Mm -hmm. Oh. So the Gentiles worry about their clothes. Mm -hmm. I don't worry about my clothes. I believe God for my clothes. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Mm -hmm. I don't worry. I walk by faith, and I watch God provide for my needs. See the difference? Mm -hmm. But the Gentiles seek after that. Mm -hmm. So when they see you with something, the first thing they're going to say, that's how you get that. Mm -hmm. God did it. Because I don't worry about how I get my clothes. I don't worry about how I pay my bills. I believe God. Mm -hmm. But the Gentiles seek after that. So when you have things, certain things that identify with the Gentiles, when they see you, then you got a testimony. Yes. Then you can tell them, 
God, God did. Yes. Yeah. Look at this. Where did I stop? 32. 32. Bible thank you, Gentiles. Seek for your heavenly Father. Yes. Look at this. He said, "Know what? That you have need of what? Oh. All these things." See, so if you keep your eyes on God, and not, that's why I said don't get all caught up in the stuff, but it ain't nothing wrong with believing in for the stuff. Amen. I didn't say worrying about it. I said believing. Amen. You see me? You see what I'm saying? He knows you have need of these things. He says, but do what? See, this is where it comes in. He said, but seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness. And then what? All that stuff will be... That's what I'm saying. If you be faithful over a few things, he said, I'll make you a ruler. Oh, yeah. You follow me? But if you don't set your faith for something, yeah. don't sit back and just say, well, God going to meet all my needs. Yes, he is. But he said, believe me for some things. Yeah. Believe me some things. The Bible says he gave us all things to enjoy. God wants you to live down here and be blessed. Yeah. Don't you feel good after you pay all your bills for the month yeah. and you know you they pay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, God did that, y'all. Yes, he, he took care of you. And, it, and even if you don't have nothing, no more than to buy an ice cream cone, you say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yes. but, but, but how many of y'all know God wants you to have more than enough? Amen. He, how many of y'all know that you were blessed to be a blessing? Yeah. That he created you to be the lender and not the borrower. Yeah. He wants to make sure that you can be prosperous so you can prosper somebody else. Yeah. The Bible says the wealth of the wicked mm -hmm. laid up for us, y'all. Mm -hmm. I, I, didn't, I didn't plan on preaching this today. But somebody need to hear this. Some of us need, we, we need to stop walking around with low expectations in God. And we need to raise our faith level and believe God for greater work. I tell you, I'm believing it. I, you know, not, and, and, and like I said, and I'm, I'm going to my seat, I got you. I'm not just believing God for things. I want a greater anointing on my life. Yes. Yes. I want greater power. Yes. I want greater authority. Yes. I want when I pray, God hears me yes. and things happen. Yes. Thank you, God. Y'all know one of my testimonies has been for years mm -hmm. is when I walk by you and you sick, I pray my shadow heal you like yes. Peter. No, no, don't just think I'm just, he talking about his house. No, I want a greater anointing. I want to be like that, that conduit up there. God, flow your power and your anointing through my life. Yeah. So when I'm walking in Walmart, y'all know Walmart is my favorite store. <laughs> y'all know why? Because every time I get in Walmart, God leads me to pray in the Holy Ghost. So I'm walking in there praying in tongues. And I'm believing that my shadow and my anointing is walking by people and they're getting blessed when I'm up in Walmart. Yeah. Oh, no, no. If I don't walk out there again, I didn't walk out there with a TV, but somebody got blessed because I was grocery on the while I was up in there. Yeah. Oh, no, I was praying in the Holy Ghost. But somebody got blessed even if I didn't get a TV. Guess all, that's all right. God said, go in there and pray. Because how many of y'all know the prayers of the righteous still available? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, y'all. You know, don't get all caught up in stuff. Mm -hmm. But put your faith on another level. Oh, yeah. This is the year of new beginnings. Uh -huh. New beginnings. Dr. Tapscott is going to tear this scripture up, watch. Mm. He's going to break it down. He's going to dissect it. Yeah. So y'all get ready. I'm going to finish. I'm going to tag team off of him the following week. But y'all get ready. He's going to break it down. This man is powerful. So please pack the house up. Amen. Call your friends. Call your brother, your sister, somebody to come because you need to hear this. And y'all fast and believe God for great things. Yeah. 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 Write down some things yeah. that you want to see God do in your life this year. Put it on paper. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Put it on paper. Mm -hmm. Remind the devil that you're going to be victorious oh, this year. Yes. Yes. Remind the devil that no, 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 this ain't going to be like it was last year. I'm going to see God do greater works this year. I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of lack. God, write it down and then set your expectation and say, God, show me. God, I'm going to believe you for some things. This is a new year beginning. And believe God. Because if you get before him, y'all, he'll show you stuff that you don't even know in your mind. He got some people waiting in the wings to talk to you. Yes. But you won't spend enough time talking to him to hear where he just hook y'all up. Come on, y'all. Give new beginnings. I'm going to finish this in a couple of weeks.
But y'all come in here next week excited? Yes. Mm -hmm. Call your mama, call your daddy, call your sister, call your brother. Pack this place out. Mm. More so pack it out with your faith. Yes. 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 More so pack it out with your faith. Come in here expecting to hear a word from the Lord that's going to change your life. Yes. And I promise you God will do just that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Year, new beginnings, part one. Part two is on the way.